but at least here on campus, students are trying to find their little boo, you know, before the big day. Um, so we decided to have, you know, somewhat of an expert on the dating field. We have former semi-professional junior hockey player Cameron Smith, who's a student here at Mason, also part of the engineering program, who's here to talk about his new app, Speculate, and when it should be coming out and all those great details. So let's check it out. So Cameron, switching from wanting to be a professional hockey player to now a software engineering major, um, how does that work for you? Like, what made you change from being a hockey player to now computer science major and signing your own business? Right, so from the age of 16, I was a junior hockey player coming out of high school, mm -hmm. uh, junior year. I moved away from home, and uh, my single goal in life was to play in the NHL, to become a professional hockey player, to make it to the top level of ice hockey. Um, unfortunately, some things happened um, where I got injured, and then I got traded around a few teams. Mm -hmm. I started in Pennsylvania, and then I ended up in North Dakota. So, oh, wow. Yeah, so it, was, it was serious, and it was uh, something I was really into. And then, but at the same time, uh, you know, when the injury happened, um, you know, it seemed like, you know, that path wasn't going to work out. So I, you know, I had to look deep inside myself, and I said, look, you're a smart guy. You can, you, you're into, you know, iPhones and tech stuff, so why don't you try to go to school and be a software engineer, learn computer science. Mm -hmm. So I decided to do that, and um, you know the George Mason hockey team contacted me, uh, the head uh, assistant coach Alex Gross, and they said, "Hey, you should come in and uh, try to play for us, and you, you'll be a star player, and you'll have a great time here." So I think it was a no-brainer for me to come to Mason and try to pursue my degree and um, and also be able to play the sport I love at the same time. Right. So how do you balance playing, you know, hockey and also? building this app and also your schoolwork as well. Right, yeah, so uh, my venture story in, in, with George, at George Mason University started out pretty interesting. Actually, I was in a Sculpture One class in my freshman year and, um, you know, I was given an assignment to put a unique spin on a piece of furniture. So being myself, I'm, I actually love fishing and fish and, you know, out the outdoors and nature. Mm -hmm. So I said to my friend, let's, let's put a fish tank inside a table. So my first venture was actually me building aquarium tables. And that started at Mason as well. And you know, I balanced that with doing computer science, which is a lot of problem solving and stuff as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and then during that time, I came up with the idea of Speculate. Well, originally it was going to be called Lotto Date because I actually came up with the idea <laughs> when uh, while I was away playing junior hockey. You know, there's no one around. Mm -hmm. um, like you, do, you don't know anyone in the area. We're in the middle of Pennsylvania, right? And my teammates, they come up to me and they're like, Cameron, you should uh, try the dating apps. You should just get on, a, you know, and maybe I'll meet someone. Mm -hmm. And I, and I, me, I had been so shy in high school. I literally was that kid who would ask a girl to homecoming and had never spoken to her before. And it was <laughs> that actually happened. Mm -hmm. And it was an absolute. I got rejected. It was a fail. But you know, Bolder from than there, me. from there, I progressed. And I was like, I was on these dating apps. And then I thought, you know, uh, when I was at Mason, I thought, well. When I, I bought a lottery ticket one day, and I'm mm -hmm. like, I compared it to my online dating experience, and I'm like, hmm, the game aspect of this, you know, what if I could apply it to online dating? Mm -hmm. And that's where, you know, we I came up with the idea. Originally, I was going to call it Lotto Date, but um, there, there was actually already a website called LottoDate.com, and then mm -hmm. that led to me, one thing led to another, and my friend and I, Dennis, uh, came up with the name Speculate, and we started developing it, and uh, it's been challenging balancing. Mm -hmm software engineering, uh, you know, my major and, and all my, my, my ventures, but um, I want to point out to students that it is possible to pursue, your, you know, your dream, entrepreneurial dreams, do your side hustle, whatever it may be, mm -hmm. and, and do your schoolwork at the same time, and I encourage people to do those things, so. Well, I definitely, I know a few, like, engineering people, and they're always, like, in their books, never really have time for, like, the social life. Do you have, I know you're doing ice hockey still, mm -hmm. and then you have your business venture, right. obviously classes, do you have time for a social life outside of that? Right, um, <laughs> you know, it, it, that really depends on a person's personality. Mm -hmm. A lot, obviously a lot of people who do computer science are more introverted and maybe mm -hmm. not so outgoing. Um, I don't consider myself one of those people. I, 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 I like the concept of learning to code and stuff, but I don't, I don't get super technical with it. I'm not super into everything, but mm -hmm. I, I like understanding and producing something um, you know, doing my projects and stuff. But uh, social life, I mean, do I go to parties and stuff related to school? Am I in a frat? No. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, it doesn't mean I don't go out. I mean, actually, yeah. one of the good ways to promote for our marketing is to actually get to some parties and there are really good ways to get signups for our app mm -hmm. because people are out, you know, a lot of single people maybe looking to meet the one someday. So, you know, I do, uh, I do go out. Uh, it's, 
you definitely make sacrifices when you do things like this, where especially starting a social social movement with our app, whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. you really have to put a lot of time in, and you don't always get to do the thing. You have to make sacrifices, whether it be with your relationship or with the, going out with friends. Mm -hmm. You always have to make sacrifices. But if you really love what you do, it, it, you know, it's like you don't want to wake up going to work. I consider school like work, and dread what you're doing every day. Yeah, I think having that thing on the side that you really like, really, you know, it's it's worth it in the end. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with different apps like Tinder, Bumble, they all have their different niches, basically. Um, so what makes SpecuDate different from those other dating apps? Like what is, because I've seen a little bit, it's the game, the real game. So right. how does how is that different from those other apps? Right, so in my experience on dating apps, um, there's, ma there's a few common themes. You'll see uh, pictures, a uh, picture of the person when you come across their profile, a bio, usually up to 500 characters, mm -hmm. so people could technically write an essay about themselves, but a lot of people don't. Mm -hmm. And maybe some prompts, like my, some apps do, like my fir favorite first date would be. So you have prompts, the bio, uh, maybe some details about them, how tall they are, whatever, some other de nitty gritty details, and, and then the bio. But, you know, we wanted to, part of the idea of this app when I came up with it was like, I want to give people a, a better way, a, a more a unique way to express themselves. Mm -hmm. So I thought of a game, adding a game to the to the typical dating app where people create their own game and it consists of two things, two truths and a lie and truth or lie, which is kind of like a classic icebreaker we mm -hmm. all know. Two truths and a lie, everyone knows that. So basically what I, what I thought is that when people sign up for the app, maybe they could uh, create their own get to know me game which uh, consists of those two parts, and then oh, we could really gamify the user experience while also creating an icebreaker. Um, so, you know, and I kind of had this feeling in my gut it, w it would be a good idea. But, so I, I went with my gut. I didn't do any surveys or anything beforehand. Mm -hmm. We have conducted some surveys, though, um, mm -hmm. on our Instagrams uh, at Speculate, and, you know, found out some things uh, about, about uh, um, you know, people, college-age people. and. Um, so some of those surveys, I'll point them out to you here. I actually have them. <laughs> so first of all, I asked, have you tried dating apps? Uh, mm -hmm. with 75 participants. 60% um, said no, 30% said yes. Mm -hmm. So people are trying dating apps. It's actually becoming more and more common for people to try dating apps, but they're still um, you know, not accepted by everyone. Mm -hmm. um, if you, and I, another question I asked was, if you have tried dating apps, did you ever get bored of them? 68% um, said yes and 32% said no. So I people agree. have gotten bored of dating apps after yeah. trying them for a while because it comes so repetitive. Mm -hmm. And that's something we want to address with Speculate. We might even add new games in the future for future releases uh, outside of the truth or lie game to, to help help with that. If you have tried dating apps, this is another question, did you ever find it hard to know what to say in your bio? 76% mm -hmm. of people said that they've had trouble knowing what to say in their bio and 24% said no. So obviously there's some struggles there on dating mm -hmm. apps. A lot of times it's hard to know what to say about yourself because there could be so much or there could be not be enough. Yeah. Another question was, and this is the big one for Speculate that puts value on Speculate. If you have tried dating apps, did you ever find it hard to know what to say in a message to someone? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. how, mu how much percent do you think said yes? I to think a majority definitely yeah. said yes. 90% yeah. said they've had trouble knowing what to say in a message to someone on dating apps, and 10% said no. That's not shocking. Wow. And that's the great thing about Speculate, is that once people match based off these games, and we actually want to make it fun, we're not going to use the word match anywhere in the app. Mm -hmm. Basically, you can win the game, or you can be saved by the other person who played mm. your game. So win or be saved. So they're saving you if they like you. Yeah. And you tried your best, they can give you like another life. Right. Basically. So one or both oh, of one that's interesting. One <laughs> or both of you has to win the game. Mm -hmm. So so it's pretty easy to connect if you both play each other's game. It's mm -hmm. very likely. <laughs> so oh. Um, and then, so the last question was, if you have not tried dating apps, why not? And I, I gave two options for this poll, not comfortable or heard they suck. 40% mm -hmm. of people said that they heard they suck, and 60% said not comfortable. So obviously there's those people who maybe you'll never get for dating apps. Mm -hmm. But maybe we can change the, you know, the common understanding of dating apps with speculate, the common, yeah. uh, you know, what people think about them by making it more fun and gamified. Mm -hmm. and you know, people who heard they suck, maybe it's because they weren't fun and we want to bring that, uh, make it fun and easy. That's, those are our two main words, fun and easier to, to have good conversation with people and make meaningful connections, so. I like I that. Bet. It's interesting because yeah. I'm one of those people, I'm never going to be on a dating app. Same. I've I'm tried it, but it's not, right. not my scene. But also, like, we're in a generation where a lot of people aren't meeting in person, whereas, like, our parents were right. meeting in clubs yep. or meeting at a poetry place. Or, you know what I mean? They were meeting out in person, right. whereas 
there's kind of that disconnect between the two generations. Right, and that brings me to my next point, and that's that often, you know, you say you met your significant other on a dating app, mm -hmm. and your parents say, or their parents say, so, how did How'd you guys meet? meet? Yeah. Um, a lot of people are, because of the perspective, of, of current dating apps and you know the kind of reputation they have mm -hmm. uh, oftentimes you won't tell the truth yeah and you know that's fine mm -hmm. I mean if you want to be discreet about it that's fine but maybe we speculate we can help change the perspective of that and it's true that you know technology has changed so much the world is you know, Facebook and everything that's going on, on the internet people are connecting in ways that before you know people wrote letters before now mm -hmm. we have instant messaging yes you know people wrote letters like you know so it's it's crazy and um, there's so many different ways that are being developed for for people to connect and meet and speculate I feel like has it has a potential of being one of those uh, next big things okay so we do see like a bunch of flyers I've had a lot of friends like talking about this they're all across campus right. What it, what's the flyers for? What are we doing? Because right. I tried looking for an app, but right. right now we can't find one. So, like, explain that to me right now. Right. So, the the flyers we put out, they say they say you know, d um, speculate app in development. In mm -hmm. development is the key word there mm -hmm. by Mason students, meaning that we're in the development stage. Okay. Um, and then we see our social media on there because we want people to follow us and what we're doing, and um, you know, our my, our marketing has been done completely by myself actually. That's. And Wild. It's, it's kind of <laughs> crazy to think because you think about how much speculate is all over campus, mm -hmm. and uh, it was all done by me. And it's because of, you know, the things, you know, like I said, some things have happened to me in my life, and it made me a really determined person. And really, I, I for my training with hockey, I really understand that you have to do things over and over and over mm -hmm. again for things to start going your way. Yeah. So I've been extremely consistent in marketing, putting cards out, card drops, um, flyers. Basically, I say to myself, look, you're the general, and these cards, these thousands of cards and you know, your flyers, they're your army. Mm -hmm. So just, you know, get the word out as best you can, and things will start happening. Just like this. We're in, we were featured in For the State today, and, you know, I'm very thankful for For the State for reaching out to us. And, mm -hmm. you know, you can get your copy and read a little bit about me and Dennis and our story with Speculate. So basically, um, I've been very consistent and and. and in marketing and being at the kiosks as well, um, mm -hmm. getting you know signups for KitKat, stuff, every little thing we can do to get more signups. So in the area. Okay, so what is your goal for this app for Speculate? Right, uh, our goal is to be the next big thing and and mm -hmm. and meeting online and gain a reputation throughout the Virginia area, and we want to pitch as well. We're mm -hmm. we're gonna apply to the Ventures for Wellbeing competition oh, here. Okay. I think that's in April here. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll be able to pitch for five thousand dollars, and you know we think we have a good chance and of of you know doing well at that. And so pitching and getting out there, and eventually the app should spread itself if it's good enough. Yeah. Um, and the thing is, with being uh, entrepreneurial, you kind of have to go with your gut. And with this app, well, obviously we take losses in the beginning. We're not making any money or anything like that. We're mm -hmm. just doing something that we think has a chance, and mm -hmm. that's how apps go. Basically, y they either make it or they don't. And mm -hmm. we. You know, you have to go with your gut and believe that this is going to make it, and I'm not going to stop till it does. So, but the goal with Speculate is for it to be as as viral as apps like you know Tinder maybe one day. So, we'll see. What do What do you think your biggest obstacle is? Um, not only like in the beginning stages, but like moving forward through it. Right. Uh, and one of the biggest obstacles is actually you know for people looking at us. They think, oh, you're going into a flooded market. The, mm. the dating app market right now, online dating market, is exploding. And it's, and it's flooded, but there's also still so much room for opportunity, we believe. Mm -hmm. As long as you create your own niche, mm -hmm. and that's what we believe Speculate is going to do. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put ourselves in our own niche of dating apps with the game aspect of it and the icebreaker aspect, and we want people to fall in love with that idea and people to appreciate you know, what we're doing, which is putting more value, we think, on the individual. Yeah. Which is why the, the U in our logo is capitalized, actually. So, to, uh, we're putting more value on the individual yeah. and, you know, because you know, I think that people should be more uh, should have the opportunity to present themselves as more than just pictures in a bio. We have nothing against other dating apps. Mm -hmm. um, we just want to create our own niche. And yeah, I mean, I totally agree with that. Like going on, a lot of my friends go on Tinder to just scroll. Right. Sometimes I just go in there, look at people's pictures. I just think it's another Instagram. Like right. it's just it's oversaturated with the right. same thing. So this is definitely something that's very like 
interesting and actually makes you double think about mm, maybe I would try that. Right. And it's fun. Yeah. yeah. It's a whole game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna you know collect feedback from users and maybe they'll want us to add new kinds of games. We'll start with the truth or lie game, but we see so many different games we could do in the future potentially. Mm -hmm. Or we just stick with the, the original game. We'll see how it goes and we could do like I don't know your favorite date, things you don't like, things you do like. You could ask so many different questions to people, right. but still keep it short and fun at the same time. Well, did you have any last things you wanted people to know about the app, about you, um, how they can support you and right. sign up, things of that sort? Right. Uh, well, you know, we're taking signups on our website, speculate.com. Mm -hmm. um, you know, every sign up counts, really. Uh, you know, we need a, as much bigger user base as we can to start out with, and we'll only email you when we release the app. Mm -hmm. uh, I also want to encourage people who have their own ideas on campus to, to do it. I mean, no matter how much time you have in a day, there's always time to plan at least uh, some a venture you want to do and get out there and 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 chase. You know, you don't want to leave your dreams left unchased, so mm -hmm. uh, or your ideas. So that's what I would say. And if you want to support us, please sign up for our app at speculate.com and follow us on social media as well at speculate. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so coming. much. Thank you guys. Thank you. It's been a pleasure being on the show. Thank you. Sadly, we have come to the end of our show, but don't worry, The Spill is expanding this semester with new exclusive segments and interviews. Most definitely. So make sure you are tuned in for Word on the Streets and our new segment, What's Up Wednesdays. We will also be sending out live updates from our social media accounts throughout the week at The Spill GMU on Instagram and Twitter. I'm India. And I'm Reagan. And I'm Chris. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you back here next time.